Just a quick video on a quick little project. I picked up one of these 16 by 8 LED matrix matrixes and I didn't know what to do with it. <laughs> um, I saw a bunch of VU meters and such on YouTube so I decided to do that but like everything I do I get a little carried away. So it's not only a VU meter, which right now I'm waiting on a nice quarter, uh, three millimeter jack, audio jack to come in. So I'm just alligator clipped onto my audio in right now. So yeah, it'll do the usual audio in, show the spectrum. Uh, and I've also added a little regulator so that I can drive it off of a lipo if I want to, but I probably will just plug that into the wall. Then there are three switches. Um, one of the VU meters that I copycatted and borrowed some of his code and ideas from, had um, buttons to control the brightness and then the, the, the pattern or the colors that will show. And I added a third button because as I was building this, I could not decide if I wanted to go the route of a microphone or audio in. So I decided to, to do both and then threw in a double pull switch to switch between the two. Uh, Actually, I take that back. The third button is to switch between those two modes. And then I started playing around with the ESP32 and doing some wireless stuff with this thing. And this WLED project is pretty cool. It comes with an app for the phone to control the patterns and all that fun stuff. So <laughs> I'm not going to open this up right now, but inside here is not only an Arduino Nano controlling the VU meter, but there's the um, ESP32 controlling WLED and wireless. So, um, yeah, I probably should have opened the box and showed y'all what was going on in there. But you can pretty much see. So that explains all these controls. This is power on. This is switch between WLED or the spectrum analyzer. This is a microphone. And then there's audio input, um, AC input. Or I should say DC input, sorry. And then the three buttons to control the mode of the spectrum analyzer, whether it's audio in or microphone in, and then change brightness and color pattern. And then over here, just the wires coming out to connect to the LED, and then the two port accesses to the Nano and the ESP. So, enough talk, let's just turn it on. Um, so right now I have it plugged into Okay. <coughs> Dumbass, it was already on. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, yeah, this is line-in audio. So I'm just going to play some YouTube background music just so um, I don't get flagged with copyright. So we've all seen this spectrum analyzer before, right? And it does have various colors I could choose, like I said, or I could change the brightness. Which I probably shouldn't go brighter on camera. It's going to look awful. So let's look away for a second. While I bring that back down. There. All right, so that's the usual spectrum analyzer. And then if I go ahead and change to my microphone, um, I do then have to reboot. Just because of the way the Nano is connected to the ports, it kind of disables analog ports to do the um, audio in. But now we're on the microphone, as you can tell. Which is still picking up the music as well. And a little side effect is if I switch now back to the microphone. Damn, I keep hitting brightness instead. This will work, but now I'm actually getting a mix of the two. Audio line in and the microphone. Pretty cool. Okay, and then the last feature is the WLED, which I don't think I can, I mean, I'm recording on my phone that has the app that controls this, so I can't demonstrate that, but there are plenty of videos out there. Nothing special. And you may wonder why these last few rows of my LEDs are not on. Uh, it came shipped to me like that. If I do turn them on, they show different colors than you ask for, so something's broken in one of them. One of them actually stays white, so it kind of screwed up the rest of them down the line. So no biggie. The Amazon seller was very helpful and refunded my money, and I get to keep the broken LED strip. So I ordered another one from him. Anyhow, so there you go. Pretty cool little project. If anybody wants my code or even the 3D files to print this box, just let me know.